This year is we are celebrating uh, the 350 years anniversary of uh, sustainable uh, growth and uh, success and innovation. The over 4 million Sierra Leonean women collectively ask in one voice for help with cancer. I can call, I call on Mark, develop, Mark and the development organizations and philanthropists to help us train our doctors and nurses in cancer care. We are going to work very closely to break the stigma of infertility and also train the uh, needed specialists to address all the gaps of health care with regard to diabetes and oncology and fertility. I also want to thank Mark for training three journalists from my country in Nairobi for a clear understanding of the campaign of infertility issues in Sierra Leone. Mark Foundation has also enrolled 16 doctors for a 12 weeks diabetic master's course from my country. I want to say thank you to Dr. Kalaji. I would like also to uh, thank very much and appreciate uh, my dear sisters and the excellencies, uh, African first ladies and ambassadors of Merck more than a mother. It's only a milestone. We will always uh, be committed to our long-term partnership in your countries. I am proud to share with you that since last year, when we met in Senegal, we have enrolled 10 candidates in oncology scholarship and master degree in India in Egypt in medical oncology, surgical oncology, and radiation and pediatric oncology and pathologist to be the first oncologist in my country, Sierra Leone. We are really making history together with Mark Foundation, an amazing revolution for a better health care in Sierra Leone in only one year. encounter or my first exposure to life of first lady will be like with my my attendance to the Mac Foundation meeting in Senegal and um, that meeting actually structured the direction that I wanted to go they campaign for cancer cancer was a, a subject that People talk about secretly in Sierra Leone. Nobody wants people to know they have cancer. You have given my people the opportunity to speak up. Now people talk about cancer freely. People are willing to say, I have cancer. That is an achievement that I will forever say thank you to your people. Your timely intervention in making sure that the success of our national food basket was so timely and uh, on behalf of my country, on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone, I want to say thank you. For the courses that you have offered us, we will take them in good faith and we are going to utilize them and we are going to appreciate them because we need all of these things in our country. Of course, our relationship with Mark Foundation has started since 2019. And uh, it's a relationship that has we have built um, on a platform of trust and um, support. I'm looking forward to welcoming you uh, next month here in Sierra Leone. We're looking forward to welcoming you here and um, the things that we're doing and the things that you will come and do with us we will cherish and the whole of Sierra Leone is looking forward to 
welcoming you and celebrating you. We can together make history in Sierra Leone and transform patient care in Sierra Leone. So everyone in Sierra Leone can have access to equitable and quality healthcare solution. Don't have to go up outside the country to get treatment. You don't have to suffer in silence. You will have everything here in, in the country with your local experts. Our guests, the nurses, the doctors that were trained, sponsored by Mark Foundation for two years to go and specialize in on oncology are here, Russia. Very first time I came in as first lady of this nation, you've believed in me and you ask that we present to you doctors that you will train because I presented to you a serious case on rape issues and early marriage and cancer in Sierra Leone. And you said to me right there, I will help you with cancer. We have uh, training nurses uh, in oncology, which are going to be uh, conducted in India. And uh, as soon as you finish your training or you're going to be qualified nurses, after a request from Her Excellency with the people who, the nurses who will be dedicated to the oncology or the cancer uh, world, then we will provide the training for them. Now, with this facility and all the things that we're trying to do for 34 Hospital, it's really to enhance your capacity and to move you from where you are to a greater height and give the women the opportunity to also be at the front. Even when she told me you have to come here in Sierra Leone, I just said I'm coming, even if this is my first trip to Africa after COVID lockdown. So I'm here for you. And after what I've seen what you are doing, and after I've seen the Merck Foundation alumni and the 43 scholarships we provided for doctors from Sierra Leone to be specialists for the first, ta first time in different underserved and critical specialties. In Sierra Leone, we do big things. We are not scared anymore. We are ready to go out there and change our own narrative. We are not the Ebola country anymore. We have gone past that now. We are a country that is ready to be part of the new millennium. In fact, we are at the forefront of the new millennium with digitalization right now. I'm very proud that I'm here today and we just have to showcase all our achievements and all our uh, impactful uh, programs from each country by their Excellency, the First Ladies of Africa. So all of them will report the progress and the impact and how we touch people's lives every uh, year. We had until now provided more than 1,470 scholarships to doctors in 50 countries, which is a huge, huge milestone, a huge uh, footprint. I welcome all of you to the ninth edition of the Merck Foundation Asia Africa Luminary. It feels great to meet Your Excellencies, the First Ladies of Africa in person after two years of meeting virtually only. And as we all know, a virtual meeting is not the same as a meeting in, from person to person because we are all social beings and we need the personal contact. The last time we met face to face was at our luminary in Ghana in 2019. Following this, we have been hit by the coronavirus global pandemic that restricted our travels 
and our movements quite severely around the globe. However, we kept meeting online and we continue to run our programs with great success thanks to technology. I'm very glad that we are all here today to celebrate together a very occasion, important occasion, the fifth anniversary of Merck Foundation and to mark 10 years of our journey of building healthcare capacity and the developing programs since 2012, particularly in Africa. As the First Lady of Sierra Leone, I have channeled all my energy to focusing on gender equality, gender issues, rape, and early marriage. I channeled my, my energy on that, not because I feel like infertility is not priority. I think that women has to be given the voice to speak up. And when they have that voice to speak up, definitely, infertility will not be a stranger. And we can say COVID-19 came, but COVID-19 understand that Africa was not the place for it to stay. When the COVID-19 started, I thought, okay, we are not able to congregate. What is it that I can do? But before that, I've had the wonderful opportunity to meet with Professor Frank and Russia, and I have been blessed by Mark Foundation to support 42 doctors from my country to go and study, to be qualified for cancer, oncologists, and uh, palliative care. June this year, I had the honor also to host Russia in Sierra Leone because I was also blessed to, for the United Nations Women um, to ask that I host the um, sexual reproductive 10th year anniversary in Sierra Leone. So I had 950 delegates who came to Sierra Leone from 42 countries. And Russia College was one of the people who actually went to be our guest speaker to talk about this issue, talk about infertility, talk about what women can do to break the silence. And I want to say thank you because your contribution also has enlightened the women and men of Sierra Leone. 